Hi, I'm M from 21 Readers. Today I'm going to be ranking the recent releases of Simone St. James, who is a popular mystery thriller author. In the month of March, I read her three most recent releases in publication order, The Broken Girls, The Sundown Motel, and The Book of Cold Cases. There were eight things that I found similar in the story structure of all three of them. I'm going to talk to you about eight things that I noticed were the same, and then rank each of the books based on each of those eight things. First is that they have two timelines. All three of the books have a present timeline and a past timeline timeline. The Broken Girls past timeline is in the 50s, the Sundown Motel past timeline is in the 80s, and the Book of Cold Cases past timeline is in the 70s. Okay, so in terms of being invested in the two timelines, my rankings for them would be the Sundown Motel, the Broken Girls, the Book of Cold Cases. The next element that's the same among the three of them is that they all had a unique setting, and the setting is what makes the books stand out among other thrillers, and the settings for those are boarding school, hotel, and rich mansion. In terms of how much I enjoyed the unique setting, I would rank them The Sundown Motel, The Broken Girls, The Book of Cold Cases. The third element you'll find in a Simone St. James book is a spooky supernatural element. All of the spooky supernatural elements are just vaguely explained as to why they're happening. I would have preferred if the spookiness level was ramped up a bit. Characters mentioned it sometimes, but it was only overtly described on page for a very short amount of page time. So I think in all three of the books, I would have preferred the supernatural spooky element to occur more. That being said, I'm gonna rank it in spookiness factor and how creepy it was from most spooky to least spooky. I would rank them The Book of Cold Cases, The Sundown Motel, The Broken Girls. The next element that I found in all three of these books is that the female character in the present timeline had something traumatic happen to her in the past that she's trying to navigate or have closure on. And the past traumatic event that happened to the female character in the past is what drives her in the present to help solve some type of crime or some type of mystery. In terms of how invested I was in the main character finding out what happened in the past, I would rank them The Book of Cold Cases, The Broken Girls, The Sundown Motel. Another element you will find in all three of these books is a forced romance. The forced romance seemed out of place for me in all three of these and very distracting and like we could have cut down way more page time and just gotten to the mystery. I didn't enjoy any of the forced romances so I'm gonna rank them from least irritating forced romance to most irritating. The Book of Cold Cases, The Sundown Motel, The Broken Girls. Another element I noticed in all three of these books, lots of police officers involved. Lots of problematic police officers, police officers just inserting themselves in so many scenes, and in some cases police officers were part of the forced romance. So just like with forced romance, I'm going to rank police officer involvement from least irritating to most irritating. The Sundown Motel, The Book of Cold Cases, The Broken Girls. Another thing I noticed that was the same in all three is the author tried to include subtle feminist themes. And more specifically, for the women in the past timelines, so in the 50s, 70s and 80s. She had those characters going against societal norms for gender roles and being the first woman to do something in their town. I think I would have preferred if the feminist themes were present in both the present and the past timelines. That being said, here's how I would rank the books in terms of the subtle feminist themes in the past timelines. I would rank them The Broken Girls, The Sundown Motel, The Book of Cold Cases. Another similarity among the three books is how the reveals were revealed. Across the three books, it seemed that the way they Big things were being revealed is that the main character just happened to finally talk to the right person. Like the main character just kept talking from person to person through this town trying to get to the bottom of what's going on and then when it's convenient for the author to have the reveal that's when the main character finally talks to the right person. There wasn't an original event or an original authentic way for the character to find out what's going on. It really it just seemed like happenstance like oh finally the character you're talking to decides to reveal something big to the plot or, oh, the fifth person you talk to is finally the right person. So it was a little bit mundane in that way. I definitely prefer reveals to come about in a more intriguing way, original way. So I'm gonna combine my rankings of how the reveals were revealed with how I actually enjoyed the reveals for this ranking. So for the reveals, I would rank them The Sundown Motel, The Broken Girls, The Book of Cold Cases. Before I get into my overall rankings of 
how I enjoyed the three. I do want to highlight the strengths of the three books by telling you what I'm going to remember about each one. I'll tell you these in publication order. For The Broken Girls, I'm going to most remember the feminist themes and how women in history broke against societal norms. For The Sundown Motel, I'm going to remember the unique setting and unsettling atmosphere throughout. And for The Book of Cold Cases, I'm going to remember the spooky scenes that occurred in the mansion. Now for my overall ranking, I'm going to rank in third place The Book of Cold Cases, which I gave three stars, in second place The Broken Girls, which I gave three stars, and in third place The Sundown Motel, which I gave four stars. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on any of these books and what elements you do or don't enjoy from this author. And for now, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!